AJ Squad, welcome back to Masoda's is in Warpin. So the episode we got this cool mirror right here, and basically what this is is a solar power bank. You can see this is what the pot looks like when you guys first get it. And top right here, they mentioned how the pot is a solar charger wireless power bank, and it also has the built-in flashlight option. And when I turn to the back, they do probably got some more specs that's on the pot as well. And on the side, they mentioned some of the ways that you can use it. So the pot is actually really useful, especially if you guys are going camping or for emergency. It has everything that's on here. But first, they might open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So the first thing inside right here, they probably got the user manual in multiple languages to teach you guys how to use it. Next up right here, they probably got a USB to micro USB cable. So you can definitely use that to recharge the actual power bank. And next up right here, they probably got this lanyard option if you guys want to stick it onto your power bank and strap it onto your backpack or something. And then last but not least, we do have the actual power bank right here. So let's take it out. All right. So once you guys take it out, this is what the pot looks like. You can see how the pot has a solar charger option. So that way you can recharge the pot using the solar option, but it will take a while, probably like a week, if you guys want to fully charge from zero to 100. Because the battery capacity that's on here is 25,000 mAh. So when you guys turn to the slide, it has an indicator light to show you guys the battery life that's on here, and also show you guys whether or not the solar charging option is working. And when you guys go around to the other side, they do have a power button. So once you guys press it one time, that will activate the pot. You can see how I show you guys the battery life that's on here. So right now it's around 75%, so not fully charged yet. But I'm actually get some light to test out the solar charging option to show you guys how that works. So I do have my little light right here, so let's test it out. So you can see we actually put the light on here, it definitely does work. There is a green indicator light that pops on on top, you can see how the bar is moving. So that is how you guys know the solar charging option definitely does work. But if you guys leave it outdoor in direct sunlight, you guys will charge it much faster. But that is how you guys do the solar charging option. When you guys turn around to this side, if you can see we do have two flashlight options and the way how you guys turn it on is by pressing the power button so just like this and it turns on if you can see how bright the light is on here if you guys press on the power button again it changes to lower light setting if you guys press it one more time it goes into like a slow flashing light which is kind of like an SOS light if you guys press it again it's a faster flashing light and if you guys press it one more time it turns off and when I turn around to the back, they do have a wireless charging option. So let's put your phone on here, it should work. So let's test it out. So let's put your phone on here. You can see it does work. You can see in the top bar right here, that is where you put on the lanyard that I showed you guys earlier, with this little accessory. And if you have to look really carefully right here, they show you guys all the different inputs and outputs that's being charged when you guys use it. And for this part, it actually has like a non slip material. So when you do put your phone on here, it won't move around, which is kind of nice. And then last but not least for this part, if you guys open it up, that is what the inside looks like. So they probably got two USB options, one micro USB option, and one USB-C option. I believe for the USB-C option, you can use that as an input or output, but we'll test it out in a second. And if you guys notice on the side right here, the way how they design it, it actually gives you guys a pretty good grip, like a non-slip material to prevent the product from moving around when you guys actually use it, which is kind of nice. And that way when you guys grip it, it does have a pretty good grip. And like I mentioned for the product, it is waterproof or water resistant. So if you guys get water on here, it's completely fine. And we'll test that out in a second. Before I should do the waterproof test, let me just plug in the cable to test it out first. So for the first test, we'll test out the USB option. So I'm gonna plug it in. Once you guys plug it in, the other side will plug it onto our phone. All right, so let's see it does work. Now let's test out the other USB option as well. So for the other USB option, I'm gonna charge my earbuds. So I'm plug it in. You can see when you guys plug it in, it definitely does work. So it is charging the earbuds and the iPod at the same time. And if you guys are wondering how fast it's charging, it's charging at a 2.1A charging speed. So currently we are charging two devices at the same time. But now let's test out the wireless charging to see whether or not that works at the same time as well. So we got our other phone right here. Let's test it out. All right, so you can see that works as well. So you definitely charge three devices at the same time. But now let's test out the USB-C option to see whether or not that works as an output. All right, so right here we do have the cable. If you guys plug it in, and if other side want to plug it onto our phone. So you can see when I actually plug it in, it doesn't work. So the USB-C option only works as an input. So I'm gonna use my USB-C to USB-C cable, which is from the Anchor brand, to test it out to see whether or not the product charges while you guys are charging other devices at the same time. So I'm plugging the other side into the wall outlet first. All right, so we got it plugged in. Now I'm plugging on this side. All right, so you can see we do have it plugged in right here. And if you guys can see from the slide, it is charging power bank and our devices are still charging. So you can definitely charge the power bank while charging other devices at the same time if you guys want to. And if you guys want to turn on the flashlight, 
that works as well. So definitely really cool how she gives you guys the option to charge different devices at the same time while charging the power bank at the same time and using the wireless charge option and the flashlight as well which is the perfect device to use as an emergency when you guys are going camping or something. So that is everything that's on the product. Now let's do a quick waterproof test to see whether or not it's actually waterproof and I'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have the power bank. Let's test it out to see whether or not it's actually waterproof. So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure this part right here is fully sealed. Once it's fully sealed correctly, then you guys wanna turn on the flashlight first to see when actually it works. All right, so flashlight is working. Now let's turn on some water to test it out to see whether or not it's actually waterproof or water resistant. <laughs> All right, so you see the product is waterproof or water resistant. And you do have the option to fully submerge in water if you guys want to. But it's not recommended for you guys to do that. But you do have the option if you guys really want to. But you can see the product definitely does work. If you guys get water on here, it's completely fine. All right, welcome back, guys. So now that you can test the product, you can definitely see it actually does work and should work quite well. So even if you guys get water on here, it is completely fine. If you can see from the test, the product it is waterproof. So that is everything that's on the product. Now we're unboxing and test the product. Now to end the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality solar power bank that has the same design that's on here. With all the different inputs and output and the flashlight option, the waterproof option, and the slowly charging option as well. And so much more that I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously with those guys who don't want or don't need one or having one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that should be doing. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.